We've lived nearly our entire lives in Dallas, one of the biggest metropolitan areas in the country, and we're sick of it. There's miles of concrete, endless traffic, all the trees are gone because they've torn them down to build apartments on every corner, and we just, being here, we just really needed a change of pace. So one day we watched a movie called The Biggest Little Farm. It was a documentary about a couple that left the city, bought a crummy little farm, and turned it into something amazing. After watching and seeing what was possible, I turned to Ginny and said, we should do that. And I said, okay. So we did. We had also dreamed of homesteading with fresh air, stars in the sky, nature all around us. This is the beginning of our big dream of building a permaculture paradise right here in the state of Texas. The heart of this endeavor has always been to feed our family the healthiest food possible. When we had our daughter Lucy, I really went on a journey of discovering a lot about nutrition and just the damage that processed food and the way that, that food is farmed nowadays has done to our society. Um, and I was constantly looking for new ways to make changes to our diets and feed Lucy really good food. I wanted her to be, I wanted her to avoid some of the, the health issues that I've had in my life and, um, and give her a better shot at, at a healthy life. I'm talking about real food, whole, nutrient-dense food, raised on pastures of clean, good grass in healthy soil. It's not the kind of food we normally eat anymore. We have found that it's pretty hard to find this kind of food in the grocery stores. So you really have to go to the source, the farmer. The challenge we run into with eating this way is that it can be pretty expensive and we're not exactly the paragon of wealth. Since our grocery budget didn't exactly allow us to exclusively shop at farmer's markets, we knew we had to explore other options, not just going to the source. We had to become the source. We all remember back when COVID first hit that the shelves of the grocery stores emptied at an alarming rate. There were no eggs, there was no toilet paper. A lot of the essentials were missing and in short supply for a long time. Then it happened again when the snowpocalypse of 2021 hit Texas and our world was frozen solid for a week straight. We were hunkered down that week with our little girl Lucy and we still had fun with her and thank God we didn't lose power, but it was kind of frightening to see how little food there was. We, it left us wondering, after two times seeing this happen, what do we do if the grocery stores don't have food? Have you ever heard the saying, don't assume breakfast comes from the grocery store? Well, we had to take control of where our food comes from and not be at the mercy of the increasingly fragile supply chain. Time to breathe, think, pray, even just be bored sometimes is something that most of us don't experience on a daily basis anymore. Social media has clogged our minds while fast food has clogged our arteries. With every step we make toward convenience, we have sacrificed our health, we have sacrificed quality, and we have sacrificed our independence. We've seen that doing things the hard way almost always pays off, so we're ready to slow down get our hands dirty, and build a beautiful life for our family the right way. So you're probably wondering how we're gonna pull this off and we need a lot of help for such a big endeavor. So we had to convince my in-laws to see if they wanted to come with us and they were already sick and tired of the city too. So it wasn't really much of a hard sell. Meet the Sunny Willow Farms team. First, there's Steve, my wife's dad. He's a contractor. He's built and renovated hundreds of homes. He's a skilled woodworker, and he knows how to fix absolutely everything. 
His all-around know-how and mind for design will be a fantastic resource. Then there's Laura, my mother-in-law. She's a workhorse. She is steady and reliable and works harder than anyone I know. She's also a big help in reining in Steve and his big ideas. Next, you can't forget about Jenny, my wife. She's more organized than Monica from Friends and is a much needed doer among all the dreamers in the family. Jenny is the glue that holds this whole operation together. She budgets, she plans, she keeps everyone on task. She's an all-star wife and mom. Then there's my daughter, Lucy. She's adorable, I love her to death. She's great for morale, but still probably a few years away from being any sort of help. Lastly, there's me, Mason. Expert marketer, content creator, video editor, and now farmer. I wear many hats, and to see this dream become a reality, I'll have to be able to fill in many roles. All of these people are gonna play a vital role into making sure that we can pull this thing off. Now that's where you come in. We're going to document this journey from beginning to end, and we want to take you with us. Join us as we experience the struggles, the victories, and everything in between. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Seriously, hit it. You will be able to witness the complete transformation of our farm from beginning to end, and eventually even be able to buy our food. If you're interested in being the first to know about farm updates and exciting news, you can join our email list. The link is in the description. And I think that's all we have for you, so. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.